to another online business realm video. We hope that you go ahead and click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the latest tips, tricks, and methods on online business on our channel. So today we're going to be looking at how to buy the altcoin NEO. NEO is a very popular coin right now. It is going through the roof. In 2017, NEO was up almost 90,000%. So just think about that for a minute and realize how much money you could have made if you were in on the beginning of it. Of course, no one knew it was going to rise to the heights that it's risen to, but it's even increased 200% just in the last few weeks. So with all that being said, what makes NEO so popular? Well, it's on a platform called the Apex platform, and many people call it the Ethereum network of the East. So it's the Ethereum of China. If you know anything about Ethereum, as you see right here by clicking on Coinbase, it has gone nothing but up. And I think that we're going to see the same with NEO. And so there is another altcoin, GAS, G-A-S is the symbol, that is also on the Apex platform. And it is linked to the hip to NEO. So that might other also be a good one to look at. So today we're going to be looking at how to buy NEO. So the first thing you're going to need to do is have a Coinbase account. If you don't have a Coinbase account, you can look down below in the video information and there's a link there for you to go ahead and start an account. You'll get 10 extra dollars just for signing up. So once you're in your account, you can see here, you can just kind of browse through, look at the charts of Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin. I like to do all of my purchases with Ethereum because the Ethereum network, in my opinion, is faster than the Bitcoin network. I don't really think that's up for debate at this point. So the first thing you're going to need to do is purchase an amount of Ethereum on Coinbase. So you'll go over here to buy slash sell. You'll click Ethereum and then you will click this drop down and you can either add a bank account, or a credit slash debit card. As you can see, I've got a limit of $10,000 per week uh, on instant, which means through credit card or debit card, I've got $5,000 per week. You're probably going to be able to start out with only about $750. So that's usually what Coinbase does for a first run. So once we've selected our account, we just come down here to US dollars. And if you hit buy max, it's going to automatically do the max amount of dollars you're able to spend. So mine would be 10,000. You can put any amount in there. Let's just say you want to start with 100. You would put $100 in. It would show you how much you would get. Then over here, it's going to charge you a fee. As you can see, a $3 fee. And you would just click buy. So once you click buy, it's your account is going to be funded most likely instantly if you used a credit or debit card with your bank account. It's going to take a few days for your Ethereum to get to your account. So let's go up here to this tab and click on account. So now that I'm here, I need a place to send this to. So where we are going to send this Ethereum to is to Binance. So sign up for an account on Binance.com. You can check below in the video information for a link. And when you go there and you log in, you're going to click up here, deposits, withdrawals, under funds. So we're going to be depositing Ethereum. So you would come down here to ETH, click deposit, and now it's going to give you an address. You're going to take that address and you're going to copy it. Okay. We're going to go back to Coinbase. Now we're going to send our Ethereum. So you go to the accounts page, click Ethereum wallet and click send. You're going to type the address in and you can just go ahead and click send max here and it'll send everything you've got. I don't need a message and I'm going to hit continue. Confirm send. Okay. Now if you just refresh this page. it will now say pending. 
Now, if you come back here to your Binance account, how you check this is you come here to Funds and click History. It's not going to show up immediately. It will probably take a few minutes for it to show up. What's going to happen here is up here at the top, it's going to say Confirming Ethereum. It's going to have the amount that I sent, and it'll tell you how many confirmations it needs. So with Ethereum, it's probably going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to hit your account. It's got to do 30 confirmations on the blockchain before it actually hits your account. So once the money is in your account, you can come back over here to Funds Deposit Withdrawals, and you will see all of your amounts of everything you have pop up. So Ethereum is right here, and it's going to have my total amount of Ethereum I deposited. So once that is done, I go to the Exchange, Basic, and the exchange is going to pop up. Don't be intimidated by this page. There's a lot going on here. Uh, if you aren't familiar with candlestick charts, that's something we will probably show you how to read in the future on our Crypto Thursday tutorials, which this video is part of. So um, we'll show you how to do that. But for now, let's go ahead and make our NEO purchase. So as you come up here, you look, you've got four different options. We are going to use Ethereum. I'm going to show you guys how to buy gas in a different video that I mentioned earlier. With gas, you have to use Bitcoin. So uh, if you are interested in that, make sure you do Bitcoin instead of Ethereum. So, okay, but for NEO, what we're doing today, we're going to click Ethereum, and we're going to type in the symbol, which is NEO. And then it's going to be a NEO for Ethereum exchange. So you click right here on this. And now what you do is you come over here, you can click market to make it a little bit easier. And when you come down here and click amount, it's going to show you the exact amount that you can buy. Obviously, mine is not in my account yet, so it says zero. But if it said one or two, whatever it said, you could put in there and then you would hit buy. And once you've done that, your purchase is complete. You'll be able to come back over here to deposit withdrawals and you will be able to see the NEO show up in your account. So it'll be right here, it'll show your total balance. If it's taking a little bit longer than normal, you can go here and click open orders, and it'll show the open order right here. Sometimes if you're transferring stuff, and there's a lot going on on the network, it may take a few minutes, but with Ethereum and NEO, usually this exchange takes 10 seconds, but it can take longer. You can look here at your order history as well, and it'll show you everything you know that you've bought and, sell and sold and things like that. So NEO is an excellent purchase in my opinion. I think it is actually outside of Bitcoin and Ethereum. I would say it is the safest bet in crypto as long as China does not ban cryptocurrencies, which it's kind of almost ballooned to the point now where it's going to be hard for any government to pull back on cryptocurrencies significantly because the whole purpose of cryptocurrencies is to give the power to the people. So the government of these, especially Asian countries, communist countries, they may want to pull back on it, but it's going to be hard. It's a Pandora's box that now that it's been open, it's going to be hard to pull back in. So Neo, watch for Neo to go from where it is right now at about 170, 160 to 170 dollars to over a thousand. I would say definitely by the end of the year, if not sooner than that. I expect it to be 250 to 300 dollars within the next two to three weeks. So I believe it's a good purchase. And thanks for watching our Crypto Thursday video. And we hope that you'll go ahead and click the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos, including Crypto Thursday tutorial videos. So until next time, get out there and make some money.